Welcome to Weekly Monday Night Raw. This is episode 7, which of course is Raw. And Smackdown tomorrow, of course, and he got throughout SummerSlam on Sunday night. Whoop, whoop. But in a pretty about that, decent, uh, some power and honors, some crowd heat. Jimmy Havoc, Akira Tazawa would defeat Evan Bourne and Leo Rush in 8 11 when Jimmy Havoc defeated Leo Rush by pure the Death Valley Drive. This was recorded yesterday. I was set up yesterday and tried to record yesterday, but my computer has been a nuisance. 58 37, 42 61. Not bad. Uh, Russian Bruno performance, which is not bad. And you wouldn't have seen that episode because I would have been swearing very loudly. But <clears throat> F53 C minus. Not too bad. Nice little way to open up the night, I think. 57 C minus. Not bad. In the pre show about the Paris and Honors as Cardi, the UK Invaders, that's Sabre Jr., Pete Dunn, Mighty School, and Mark Haskins to feed. Kurt Hawkins, Cash Sony, No Way Jose, and Polo Cruz. Mark Haskins get about his gimmick. In 7.44, Marky Cole is scored defeated Crash Zone by graduation. Mark Haskins 48, Way to 47, Pete Dorn 54, Zach Sarah Jr. 63, Apollo Cruz 63, No Way Jose 46, Cash Zone 54, Kurt Hawkins 44. Uh, no, what's been going on there? Uh, Apollo Cruz and Rumble. We find out what's going on with AJ tomorrow night on SmackDown. I cannot get Ronda Rousey in the picture, but there we go. In a preacher bad, Sir Paris and Little Heat, Sarah Logan and Liv Morgan defeated Nia Jackson Ronda Rousey in 7.9. When Sarah Logan defeated Ronda Rousey by pinfall the Kiju Killer. Liv Morgan's weak links to keep her some forms, which is really upsetting because she's one of the prettier girls out of the squad. Um, that's quality in the Color Good Match Boost. Liv Morgan 30, Sarah Logan 42, Ronda Rousey 59, Nia Jackson 55. No work and rest, 52D plus, not too bad. Let's move on. You appreciate Bill. Let's get that sorted. In a pre sub part, but in a bell red sub part, it's not heat. Tyson Hill, Carlo Ryan, Mudge Strong defeated D.B. Offsey Jr. and the B team in 742, and Tyson Hill defeated Ted D.B. Offsey Jr. by pulling the Clash of Titans. Carlo Ryan's not suited to go, but we have just dealt with that, so we can ignore that. Roddy Strong, 60. Riley, 53. O'Neill, 46. Ted Jr. 51, Bo Dallas 38, and Curtis Axel 50. Curtis Axel 53, not bad. Ted Bills Jr. in performance and Tyson Neal in performance. I will be kicking Tyson Neal out of the company. Even after his you know, blue blooper. Um, Grace for a rumble. In a pre show, Bad Vets of Power Wrestling, a little hit. The Ascension defeat Tyler Breeze and Mike Canellis in 746. Kyle Nan defeat Mike Canellis by the Fallen Man. Victory is not suited to his gimmick. I have dealt with that, but it hasn't happened. I thought I dealt with everyone's gimmicks. Obviously, I have not. Um, so this is going to have to be a second gimmick change. I'm going to be annoyed. But we'll put Victor down and hope it goes for the better. Victor, 47. Colour, 51. Mike goes 51. Tyler Breeze, 51. Excuse me. Uh, no work on for 52D+. plus. In a pitch about a decent lesson with Emma Cheat, Major Riley, Drew McIntyre, and Bobby Lashley defeat Bobby Roode, Kane, and Zack Ryder in fight 751. Drew McIntyre defeats Zack um, Ryder by Pure of the Full Future Shock. Bobby Lashley 74, McIntyre 59, Major Riley 45, Ryder 50, Kane 60, and Bobby Roode 68. Bobby Roode, Rumble, and Major Riley in performance. I just want to get rid of Tyson Hill because he's any occasional recipe. He's appeared now on both weeks on the P show, so. Get rid of Tyson Hill, we won't appear. Uh, we're going to continue addressing this new. Thank you. Bobby Roode's getting his gimmick changed because he's not suited to his gimmick. There we go. Arrogant Hill, which is about right for Bobby Roode. 65C. Even though he's better, he's better off in TNA. And we open up the night with Kurt Angle. And the fans are trying to use you because I mean, you suck. You suck. You suck. Anyway, even though everyone cheers for him and likes him. Makes no sense nowadays, but there you go, that's what they do. Because that's how his music works, you can actually try you suck to him because of his entrance moves, but there you go. In this coming Sunday night, it was WrestleMania. This coming Sunday night is WrestleMania? No, it isn't, it's Kurt. WTF moment right there, it's SummerSlam. And with Triple H in charge of WWE, I'm stepping down and being Raw DM, and stepping back between these ropes and... These ropes. This Sunday night, I'm going to face the leader of the UK takeover, Mr. Wade Barrett. 
I've got some bad news. We're changing around for the pay per view because, of course, AJ Styles is injured, um, which has messed up the title picture for that. Um, who else? And Dolph Ziggler's out um, for freaking ages. Literally, more or less, he half a good year. So, all my plans for him have failed. So, the match we're going to originally have, the cage match we're going to originally have tonight, has been replaced between these two. But we'll get to that. Um, so, yeah, that's what's happening. I don't know, that's what's going on. That's just an elimination to prevent much. Boop, soft. Uh, you see, I step back in the ring with Ray Bat and his tag team mustache man. And then Ray's music hits and goes, Okay, I think this is the best idea to come out of retirement. Come out of your suit and tie up your shoes. Tonight I'm going to end your career. You see the WWE's under attack. Vince left and the doors open. First the Undisputed Era, then us, and now on SmackDown you've got the Elite. Tonight we'll be down for now. I'm going back there as well as play has got an important match next. Those speaking has not happened yet. Um, Raid, I looked up to you as a great star, but tonight, in our six-man tag match, it will be awesome. So he's like, yeah, I looked up to you, I thought you were going to be a star, but, you know, you won't know you've been an ass. Great to look like, and of course you have Will Ospreay. If I've had some power wrestling and non-existent crowd, Will Ospreay defeated Jack Gallagher in 7.53 by Pinnacle 6 for E. Smash. Jack Gallagher, 47, Ospreay, 55. No work for 53 C minus. In a decent match, Adam Cole defeats Jinder Mahal in 7.40 by pin for the cross flying cross body. Adam Cole wins the Intercontinental Champion. Uh, Jinder Mahal 66, uh, Adam Cole 54. Jinder Mahal improved reports. 63C. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, next up we have Kevin Kelly in the back with Seth Rollins. He goes, Six Nights, SummerSlam, me versus Bray White. He's been sending me a message from Sister Abigail. I thought Orton had burnt her. Why, right, this Sunday live on WWE Network. I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to burn it down. Now I've got to get to the ring for my match. Have I got that box? If you remember, I don't know when it was, but it was on SmackDown when Bray White and Randy Orton had that feud. I've got quite a lot booked, but I haven't got that much booked. So. I don't know why. I said I was going to get all these storyline matches booked and never did. For some reason, but Seth Rollins versus Bray White will happen at SummerSlam. This entire show will be based more around the rivalry between Bray, um, Bob Strowman and Brock Lesnar. There we go. Yeah, sorry. Um, now I've got to get to the ring for my match. So yeah, he, yeah, Seth Rollins um, was unscripted. So. Even though I wrote it, he was unscripted to bring game form, so that's why it probably came out better. He asked for that, so I gave it to him. And in about that superb wrestling, great heat, Kevin Owens and Bray Wright to feed Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins, with Bray Wright to feed Seth Rollins by Princess Sister Abigail. Roman Reigns is looking very stale. Good. I don't like Roman Reigns, so still. Oh, gee, can I make him look even more stale? When Bray Wyatt deceived Seth Rollins. Uh, Bray Wyatt 79, Kevin Owens 87. Uh, Seth Rollins out there with 93. And Roman only in 86. So Ro Rollins coming out a better man in that match. 71 C+. Plus. And we see Bray Wyatt. He goes, Ginger, you're a joke. You win a title because of energy. Then lose it to an NXT call-up. A great a guy. A great guy who is awesome. It's time... You saw that you're not a star. You, you're holding the WWE Championship. It was a stupid mistake. But me and the fans want to forget. Very true. I do. Um, you see, I was the first Universal Champion. I need, to it, I need to take you down to prove I deserve another shot at the big one. Finn Balor's not suited to his gimmick. Well, guess what? Funny that. He is now. Um, what am I doing? Just gonna check that one's but if not I'll go for everything to before I start booking this matter. But Finn Balor versus Jinder Mahal is not on my list of things here. Tell you what, it's gonna be quite a bloody good show because you've got a lot more matches being pre-booked, but Jinder Mahal, the freak who looks like he's on steroids but isn't, 
taking on Finn Balor. And you wait until tonight's main event, because I hope that tonight's main event is going to be a good one. Should be. 70C plus, not bad. 77B, Triple H and Bro Triple H and Braun Strowman and Baxter Jones and Triple H guys. Thanks for coming to me with a pop with this problem. And I understand, but Brock Lesnar has not showed up for the contract signing. And Brock goes, this is bullshit. I want some tonight. I want someone tonight. I understand you got Lars Sullivan here tonight. And Triple H goes, yes, that's a great idea. Next up, you versus Lars Sullivan in the ring. So Lars Sullivan, of course, is the NXT guy. So I brought him up for one night to get killed by Braun Strowman. That's bad, but you know. In a bad to Paris and a little heat, Braun Strowman defeated Lars Sullivan in 7.55 by Pivotal Destroyer. Standing triangle choke. Lars Sullivan, 36. Braun Strowman, 66. No work improvements, sadly. But a 56C minus. Can't complain. Next up, in a, in a bow of a decent rest in the little heat, Lucha House Party in Sorry, Dorado, Kalisio, and Grand Matter Week defeated Cedric Alexander, Tony Nese, and Hideo Tommy in 8.14 when Grand Matter Week defeated Tony Nese by Pinfall, illegally losing the Rick's Livage. During the match, we had Ricochet running and attack Cedric Alexander, keeping that storyline going. I swear I've got that booked. We'll probably go on the pre show in real life, but it ain't. Um, have I got that booked? No, why not? Gosh, you're useless. Yes, I know I'm useless. Thanks, Tommy. Um, so you've got Cedric Alexander. Taking on Ricochet. And I am not doing 205 Live before anyone asks me to do a 205 Live. 205 Live is staying in a dormant wrestling show. I'm only doing real and I do not need more load on my party. Um, let's have a look. So, Grand Matter League 60. Calicio 66. Then so Dorado 57. Hideo Tommy 65. Tony Nisa out there with 45. So the Grand 58. Uh, Hideo Tommy and Lindsay Duarte in performance and Lindsay Duarte in technical. Uh, Tony seems it's not suited to his gimmick, which we've now got sorted for him. I think he can get there. Noise and Lindsay Duarte. This one C, so that's all dealt with. One of the Rousey's in the range goes, Summer Sam, six nights away, I'm going to be the Raw Women's, the, the Raw Women's Champion. I'm not going to stand by and let Miss, let them, let, let, and let Little Miss Bliss run the show. That's a tongue twister. Tonight she has a match with my best friend Natalia. I don't go to join the announcers team ringside. I swear I have got that both the women type matches booked. See, Wonder Rousey's meant to be this attractive girl, but I don't find her that attractive, to be honest. I find Alexa Bliss attractive, but not really Wonder Rousey. No way. And Bobby's in the back and he goes, This is time for a fight, and it's not going to be a huge night. And it's going to be a huge night after this Sunday. Match of Bates will be in charge of this entire company. I need to make myself look strong. This Sunday night, all eyes will be on the WWE and next week and next week on Raw. So Bobby Lashley saying he needs to be strong for this Sunday night, of course. Uh, is it booked? No, that's another match which is not booked. Obviously, I'm preparing for the worst, which is injuries. Because they always frick up your right plans for people. Bobby Lashley and, of course... He's not mentioning, but he is feuding with Baron Corbin. Another a wrestler I am not that keen on, to be honest. I don't know why I don't go on with him very well. 6 3 C, not bad. And then in the battle, we had DCMS and Cheat, cheat Kurt Angle and the American Alpha defeated the UK Invaders way back to Trent Seven and Tyler Bate in a cage match in 803 when Kurt Angle escaped the cage. Trent Seven Street in the that's fine. Angle 78, Chad Gable 67, Jason Dawn 61. Tyler Bay 55, Trent 7, 38, and Ray Barrett over 70. Check game on Trude and Florence. 60, 60 plus. Not bad. Then in about a decent rest of the Alexa Bliss feed the Italian 7.7 by Pinnacle Twisted the Bliss. She makes defense number one of her War Women's title. The Italian 63, Alexa Bliss 59. Alexa Bliss and Trude and Florence, 64 C. The War Women's storyline is advanced for this segment and gained heat. Not bad at 64 C. I'll come accept that. <coughs> Then Adam Cole's in the back and he's with the people and he's like, the Undisputed Era are taking over. I have my title. And this Sunday night, these two are holding the tag titles. This Sunday night, B-team are going down and so is my new challenger, Mr. Ted DiBiase Jr. Welcome back. I missed you. Hope they liked you around. Because this, sun around, this Sunday, you'll be gone again. You, you know, I like Adam Cole. I've always been a fan of Adam Cole ever since he turned up in Ring of Honor. So, you know, I kind of say that I'm, you know, going to 
be prejudiced over certain wrestlers because I like him more than others, but that's why Ted DiBiase Jr. has come back, and that's why he's getting into the title drop against Adam Cole because it's a match I'd love to see. I think it would be a good match. Well, so we got the um, the use of first Plunge Brothers have booked. Uh, but that title match between the B team and Kyle O'Reilly and Roger Strong is a but it would have been Kyle it would have been Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish Red Dragon but of course Red Dragon is not at the moment available because of injury so yay there is over like 100 people working for this company right now active wrestlers <laughs> that is including female wrestlers right now in this company this company has got a ridiculous size roster it's because they have got two brands to run, so I don't mind that. And they also having two brands to run means I have like running two companies. I don't if that's how it feels like to me. But that's how I treat it, you know. SmackDown's one company, this is another company. There you go. The B team taking on Roger Strong, Kyle O'Reilly, 44D. And Paul Heyman's in the back, and he goes, Paul, look, you better get out of here. If finds you, he will kill you. And Paul goes, Look, my client Brock Lesnar could not get here tonight, as he's in the offices with your father in law. So now he's new contract. He goes, light one me on the time, I'll kill you. For I know for a fact he's not as Vince is here tonight, and we'll be going out there in a bit. So you better find Brock Lesnar or leave this place before me and Strowman kill you. Then if I'd be minus between these two, not bad. In about that decent wrestling on this is crowd heat, Ricochet defeat Drago. In eight oh nine by Pin for the standing shooting star press. Most friends number one of the cruiserweight title, Drago forty. Ricochet 66, no work on fifty five 55C minus. In about that, had some progress in Little Heat, Dana Brock, Alicia Fox, and Mickey James defeat Ember Moon, Sasha Banks, and Bailey. In 737, Dana Brock defeat Ember Moon by pulling for the Samoa Driver. Bailey 53, Banks 57, Ember Moon 53, Mickey James 56, Alicia Fox 44, and Dana Brock 44. Mickey James in performance. There's a game of Lisa Fox is not suited to a going. So why didn't that get cleared up last week? Uh, let's just not note that. That's good. That's why I like the notepad of 53 Simonis. So yeah, Vince comes out and he goes, I'm out here tonight to announce that my son and my daughter and my son in law will be taking over the WWE on something like that. Triple H will be the chairman and Shane and Stephanie will be CEO with equal right in controlling the company. So each person will have equal control in the company. And Ron Strowman music hits and goes, shut up, this is my time. Brock Lesnar, where are you? You might be here, to, you're meant to be here tonight to sign a contract for a match on sale. This Lesnar comes out from the crowd, basically jumps in from behind, attacks Bron and then hits the F5 on him. Vince has left the ring at this point because he's like, oh shit, probably. And Paul's like, this is mild to what will happen on Sunday night inside the hell in a cell. Ron Strowman did not go do well going off strict. Brock Lesnar struggled when going off strict. Paul Heyman was working, so he's working on that script. That's fine. That's thanks to Vince McMahon. Whilst being scripted, but it's only 4B minus, can't complain. In about that, Sapporo in the Nazis and Crowdy, Drake Maverick, Drew Gulak and Mustafa Ali defeat Buddy Murphy, Errol, Errari Devari and TJP in 745, and Drew Gulak defeat Buddy Murphy by Pinnacle Spine Splitter. So yes, Drake Maverick is now a prefer professional wrestler on Monday Night Raw. D Should we get these gimmicks sorted? Also, TJP is not suited to his gimmick. Great. I'm just gonna TJP fifty, Rory Devine forty one, Buddy Murphy forty, Mr. Ali forty four, Drew Gulak forty two, and Drake Maverick forty six. No work for his forty eight D plus. And Paul Weller into the back and he goes, this is the most dominant team on the WWE roster. I don't know why I put WWE because I've been booking 1985, I've been booking Raw, so I'll probably explain I've got three WWE series, slash WWE series on the channel. And on Raw, next on Raw, we will show you. So yeah, the most dominant team, Paul Weller and Razor. And about Sopares and Little Heat, the offers of Kane defeat Slater and Rhino. And A30 and Akeem defeat Heath Slater by the last chapter. Akeem 44, Razor 48, Rhino 57, and he's there at 44. Paul Evans did good work ringside. Akeem has improved in France. It's not bad at 55 three minus. Not the best match of the night. Nor is this, actually. In a decent match, Matt Hardy and Raymond Steele defeat Ryback and Elias. 
in 755 when Rey Mysterio defeated Elias at 619 into a seated senton. Elias 59, right back 68, Rey Mysterio 76, and Matt Hardy 70. Of course, I think it's already booked, but. Oh, is he Ethan? Nope. Is it under Matt? No. So we'll get that booked as well, because of course it will be Matt Hardy versus Elias at SummerSlam. Hello, my name is Elias, and I'd like to sing you a song. The WWE stands of all walk with Elias. One of my favourite wrestlers, one of my favourite things right now on Raw is Elias. The only thing I'm actually enjoying on Raw. 69C Plus. Uh, video plays I've not Kenny Omega vs. Daniel Bryan tomorrow night. Live on Friday night. Like they're all live. Then Bill's drone are backstage and the basically just continue to fight. Haven't seen it's been honest because of feud still going on. In the battle of Ed, Super Wrestling and Honest is crowded. Lucha Bros defeat the Revival in 8808 when Pentagon Jr. defeat Dash Rider by appearing for the Top Rope Stars Clash. Dash Wild 55. Scott Dawson 56, Phoenix 46, and Pentagon Junior 46. Not bad. Scott Dawson and Dash Wild are both not suited to their limits now. Why are they not? Scott and Dash. Just fist, no flips. It's a problem against the flippy guys. In a decent match, Nick Holders to be Barry Cor Baron Corbin in 76 by Pin for the Torment, following interference from Bobby Lashley. Barry Corbin 55, Nick Holders 58, 59C, uh, no work improvements, sadly. And then your main event is going to be Cash and Naka Okada versus Finn Balor, a WWE a New Japan Pro Wrestling match on the, in the main event spot of Monday Night Raw. 86B. In a bad event, superb wrestling and great heat, Kazanaka Okada defeats Finn Balor in 21 minutes 34 by a pinfall with a German su suplex after a distraction from Jinder Mahal. <sighs> Okada 94, Finn Balor 85. I am not going to complain with that. No work on purpose in 86B. And after the match, Ryback runs an attack and a beating down Okada to the map. Um, another uh, non storyline match for Summer Sam. I wanted Okada to be in action. Um, I want because Okada is kind of like a big deal, you know. You've got you've got Kenny Mig, you've got all those guys running about over on Finger Me, Cody Rhodes is back, the Young Bucks are back, you know, one of them's injured, so you've got all that going on over on SmackDown. But Okada's this big thing as well, and I don't want him to get lost in his shuffle. I need him to have a match at WrestleMania because I've got big plans for him going into next year and um, WrestleMania season. And unlike Shinsuke Nakamura, he didn't get thrown straight into NXT. He's got put on the main roster. And there we go. That's going to be happening. I feel like most of the title storyline match is done now. So we're going to end the show there. And I hope the 11,770 people. Well, we've got an ATB tonight. The first ATB show we have done. My friends, I'll see you tomorrow for episode 8. Which is going to be Friday for Tuesday Smackdown Live.